In this video, we will be discussing about overview of DNA replication and particularly we will be more focused towards the enzymes and proteins involved in the replication process of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. In DNA replication, the single DNA molecule having two strands is replicated to form two DNA molecules. We see we are having a DNA molecule. Its two strands acts as parent strands to make two DNA copies. So on these parent strands, the enzymes and proteins will work on to synthesize the daughter strands on both the strands. So that in the end we get two identical DNA copies as shown in the diagram. Newly synthesized strands are called daughter strands while the old ones are the parent strands. And this form of replication is called semi-conservative since it preserves the identity of parent DNA molecule in the form of parent strands in newly formed DNA molecules. And it must be kept in mind that in DNA replication the strands do not separate as such shown in these diagrams. But only a portion like this shown in the figure is unwinded and opened while replication begins. And this site is called the replication bubble. Now let's discuss the enzymes and proteins involved in the DNA replication process in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. First of all in prokaryotes we have DNA A protein. It is a replication initiation factor and promotes the unwinding of DNA at ORIC site. ORIC site. So with the binding of DNA A protein it will unwind the two strands. Then there is a DNA B protein which is helicase enzyme. It breaks the hydrogen bonds between strands and opens up a replication fork. Then we have DNA C protein. It must be noted that previous DNA B helicase enzyme does not attach by itself to the DNA. Rather, it needs assistance and it is this DNA C protein which acts as a loading factor and mediates the loading of DNA B molecule to the DNA A at the ORI site. Now all is open at ORI site in prokaryotes. Then we need DNA G protein in prokaryotes which is a primase enzyme. It synthesizes the short strands of RNA. DNA polymerase does not synthesize from scratch. It needs few nucleotides to work upon and it is this primase enzyme which will provide these nucleotides. Then we have DNA gyrase enzyme that is also referred as topoisomerase 2 in E. coli. It causes negative supercoiling of DNA strands so that it relieves stress on DNA strands while helicase is working. Furthermore, there is a DNA ligase enzyme whose function is to ligate is to join the two segments of DNA. We know on lagging strand that DNA is synthesized in segments. So these segments need to be ligated and it is this ligase enzyme which does the job. And ultimately there are DNA polymerase enzymes. In prokaryotes there is a DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3. One is used in gap filling after RNA primer is removed. DNA polymerase 2 is used in DNA repair. While as DNA polymerase 3 mediates the DNA replication process in prokaryotes. And also remember that the beta subunit of DNA polymerase 3 acts as a DNA sliding clamp protein. It grasps the DNA so that DNA polymerase shows processivity. Then we have RNase enzyme which removes ribonucleotides from RNA primers. And also there are SSB proteins, single strand binding proteins. These proteins prevent reannealing. And ultimately we have TUS and TER proteins, TUS and TER proteins which terminates the DNA replication by halting the movement of helicase enzyme. So these are the essential enzymes and proteins found to be involved in the process of DNA replication in prokaryotes. Now let's head towards the eukaryotes. First we have ORC, it is the origin recognition complex. This complex recognizes the origin of replication site and binds to it and then other proteins are recruited. Then we have CDC6 protein. It is a cell division cycle protein that is a part of pre-replicative complex. Its function is to load MCM to the ORC. So what this MCM is will be discussed later on in this video. Now we have CDT1 protein, chromatin licensing and DNA replication factor. It is also a part of pre-replicative complex whose function is to make sure that only once DNA is replicated during cell cycle. Then we have MCM protein, mini chromosome maintenance protein. It is a DNA helicase enzyme which cuts hydrogen bonds between strands and opens up replication fork. 
then in eukaryotes we have rpa protein rpa protein keeps strands from binding to itself then we have pcna protein it's a dna clamp molecule which acts as a processivity factor so that dna polymerase once bound does not leave the strands and ultimately we have dna polymerases and in eukaryotes we have five types with alpha beta gamma delta and epsilon polymerase polymerase alpha shows primase activity and helps in initiation beta polymerase has role in dna repair gamma polymerase has role in replication and repair of mitochondrial dna then we have delta polymerase it is the chief polymerase enzyme in eukaryotes because it's this enzyme which drives the dna replication process it synthesizes both leading and lagging strands in eukaryotes while epsilon polymerase has still unknown role it is ambiguous polymerase and also we have dna topoisomerases in eukaryotes which helps in unwinding by negative supercoiling so these are all the essential enzymes and proteins involved in the dna replication process of prokaryotes and eukaryotes i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel thanks